So we stopped along the way, driving through West Virginia, we stopped at a uh, welcome center and they had a walkway to this bridge that we actually drove across. They have some nice, as you can see, like picnic area and places to sit. The walking trail wasn't too terribly hard, but I definitely wouldn't take it if I was with someone that was disabled or someone that couldn't walk up and down a lot of steps, because near the end there is a lot of steps. I don't even think I recorded it all the way. But the first half of the walk was okay, and it takes you to a pretty sight too. And no one was really on it except for two other people, and they didn't go down all the steps, so it's a quiet, non-busy trail when we went down on it. Of course, we went in the afternoon. Around the park's closing time is probably around the time we went. But as you can see, there's a the bridge, and they have little information about the bridge right there and a, a view. And then that's all the steps. There was more than that, um, and I did record more of them, but I don't really remember how long the trail was. I know it seemed relatively short, but I can't remember exactly how long it was. a pretty pretty view as you can see there's more steps I have children in the background right now so you probably can hear them but yeah there was lots of steps and walkway that's for sure And rounding the curve, there was more steps. But this was the, the spot and the scenery was definitely really, really beautiful and worth the, the walk up and down the steps. And you're welcome to pause the video and read the information I put. Well, the information they put there. But that bridge was massive and just beautiful. And I'm sure there's other trails that walk you closer to it, but um, we were actually pressed for time. And so we weren't really expecting to stop where we stopped, but we did. And... Um, it was evening, so we wanted to kind of rush so we could get back on track before nightfall. But here's pictures of some of the walkway and the beautiful scenery. There's a bridge. There's that bridge, but um, that's directions to the other bridge that we ended up driving to and trying to find because you could see over the overlook this other bridge, and um, we decided we wanted to check it out, so we went off. The beaten path to go find this bridge and took the directions and was only expecting it to be a couple miles if that up the road but it ended up definitely being a lot further I fast forwarded through the video so you didn't get stuck with like a lot of driving but it definitely was very downhill for sure
And this is getting to the bridge finally. There was a railroad track there too. And then the bridge was right there and I guess you could walk alongside the bridge because there's a little walkway. But, um... But the view on the bridge was extremely good, too. Like I said, we were kind of rushing through it because we were trying to get through to see it by dark. As it was nearing, like, 7 o'clock, so... And it didn't want to get stuck back in the woods somewhere, for sure, without knowing where we were, so... We just went off the beaten path a tiny bit, but... It wasn't too off the beaten path, but it definitely was more than we were expecting. There's lots of campgrounds in that area and interesting places to, to be for sure.